Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm out doing something a little bit different with my own personal fishing and that is moving over from using some treble hooks over to singles and we're going to see what the result is today and see if we can get the same sort of result, same amount of hookups and catch rate or see if the catch rate differs at all uh, between using singles and trebles. So the reason I'm doing this is because back on the very first day of the season, so June 16th, I was using top water baits which had treble hooks on and I actually had one really bad hookup with a chub where every point of the treble was actually caught in the gill rakers. And even though I debarbed the hooks, it still took me a little while to get the hook out. And it took the fish a little while to recover too. God knows whether that fish even recovered because it was bleeding quite heavily from its gill. And nobody likes that. Any good angler won't like seeing a fish go back like that. And it stays with you. So I've decided I'm going to try moving over to singles. We are targeting chub today. As you can see there, I've swapped over a few of my baits to single hooks. We'll go through it as we go through the session as to how I've done that, the size difference, and hopefully get a few fish on the bank and see what the catch rate's like too. So without further ado, I'm going to crack on, hopefully put a few fish on the bank. So before we get fishing, what we're going to have to do is actually swap over some of these treble hooks for single hooks. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. And I'm also going to show you um, exactly why I'm changing the hook sizes because I'm not going to stick to the same size hook as what the treble is. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. So we'll start off with this sort of bait. This is uh, an ultralight minnow. It's got two treble hooks on there, both treble hooks. I'm going to assume are around a size 10. And I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them up probably two sizes. <clears throat> the reason I'm doing this, is if you look at the bait and cover up two of those hooks, look how tiny that looks now in comparison to the size of the bait. Obviously a fish hitting that has got very little chance of actually being able to hook up. So what you need to do is upgrade the size of the hook that are on these now to on the singles that way you can actually get still a half decent hook up rate i think that was one of my issues i had before was i was swapping the hook out on the bait for a hook that was exactly the same size um as a single and i wasn't really getting very good hookups so the, well imagine these are about a size 10 so i've got some size sixes so that's what i'm going to stick on there now and what we're going to need to use for that is a pair of split ring pliers of course you could use a fingernail if you wanted to um, or you could use a pair of pliers to try and pull it apart but probably one of the safer ways is to use some split rim pliers some half decent ones that way you can do it quickly and efficiently and not bend out your fingernails so we're going to take our chosen hook size now we chose size six because it's about two sizes up from the treble that we're using open the split ring up and put that back on there Obviously the hook sizes are both different, but actually on the bait, the look are roughly about the same and they're going to roughly be a very similar weight, so it's not really going to affect the action of your bait much at all. And there we have it. Single hook on the bait, I need to change that one out for a single two. And actually that is the perfect size. You want, what you want to do is you want to make sure that, that back hook faces towards the top of your bait like that. And when you put the front hook on, I've already done a bait here, you want to make sure that it points towards the front end of the bait. So that as you're bringing it through the water, that hook will be like that. Obviously, if you have it the opposite way, if you have the hook turned that way, when it's coming in, it'll be coming in against your bait, the hook point will, and you've got a very little chance of hooking up. So you've got to make sure the front hook points forward towards your bait, and the back hook points towards the back of your bait, like so. And you should be spot on. And let's catch some fish now. Stop talking. I don't want to spend this long talking, do I, in my videos before I start fishing? Not recently, anyway. So let's crack on. Hopefully get a few fish on the bank. There we go, fish on, fish on. That's the first fish that's hit the bait uh, with a single hook on at the minute. And it is a tiny, tiny perch. <coughs> oh, well, that was an easy unhooking, wasn't it? Uh, sometimes chub kind of like these rapidly kind of swims, so we'll have a few casts around here just in case. There's some down the back end of this white water. There we go, there we go, fish on, fish on. Is it going to be a chubbers predicted? Yes it is. Awesome, first chub of the session. No monster, but he's on a single hook and we landed him. Off to a great start so far, look at that, absolutely nailed it. It's a lovely chub, it's 
probably about a pound and a quarter. Awesome fish, we just managed to catch him in the net then when he flipped. Let's get that hook out. Let you know what I am, I'm sure we're going to catch plenty more, don't need to stick close for that one. <coughs> Come on buddy, out the net. Come on, we'll try to quick. There you go. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Never seen a pie jump like that before. That was so cool. No, I was after, but man, what a show of acrobatics that was. That was cool. and hooked on the singles. There we go. We got him. That one was a little Samo tiny. Just hooked him in the scissor, how perfect was that? Easy to land, easy to unhook. Lovely little jack pie. Let's let him go. There he goes. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a little pike. <laughs> Tiny little thing. These little things are great, but my God, they are slimy buggies. Before I send him back, I've got some antibacterial spray for that wound he's got. Probably from another pike by the looks of it. It looks like a pike mouth bite. There we go. Help him out and a little bit of, and a little bit of the corner of the mouth there. So let's drop him down. It's got a little bit of a drop here. Well, catch you later. Here we go. Chub on, chub on. What a take. Absolutely crushed it. That was so cool. Time I drag it, Mr. Tad. Swiped it probably three or four times, and it was just as I was twitching it every time it decides to try and strike at the bait, which didn't help. You get missing it. That's on the single hooks. And he's a nice size one, too. Oh, yeah, he's a real nice size one. He had one hook in his mouth that did actually come out when he was in the net and he's got one hook right under his chin which definitely wasn't coming out. There we go. Clonking chub. The aim of today was to use single hooks as opposed to trebles but the main target species was chub today, big chub. And I finally managed to catch one. This one's probably a pain in the ass. This one's probably uh, about three and a half, maybe, getting them for four pound. He will not stop moving because I've had him resting for a while while I was setting the camera up. But he is probably one of the best looking chew I've ever caught. Look at the, the colours on him and the, how clean he is. Definitely never seen their pike's mouth anyway. Beautiful fish. It had two size six hooks on it, I believe. 
absolutely crushed it. Right, let's get this one back. Hopefully we can get some more big ones. We've had a good hook to land rate so far with my fish. That's awesome. There we go, fish up. Whoa! What is that? It's got to be a chop. The way it hits it, like an absolute freight train. Here it is. What a lovely wild little swim that I don't think I've ever properly fished before. I weren't really expecting to catch anything here anyway, let's put it that way. I weren't talking to the camera or anything, just having quite a couple of casts in this quite a little wild swim. And Guy disturbed me, peace. Absolutely crushed it. On the singles, and we landed him. Banging chub. So a lovely fish. Let's let him rest down on the margin and we'll get the camera set up. That's awesome. Well, this is definitely one of the more wild swims on the river, anyway. Surrounded by nettles, reeds, and Himalayan balsam. I've caught a lovely chub. There it is. Not quite got it unhooked yet, but beautiful chub. Probably around the three pound mark. A wonderful fish from a little wild swimming. The bait just dangling off the corner of his mouth now. Little hard bait. Single hooks. And so far, I've not lost that many fish on the singles, to be fair. I've, uh, I've had, what, maybe three or four chub. Uh, two decent chubs so far. And I haven't lost one. I've not even bumped a chub actually, I don't think. But yeah. One last look at him before we let him go. Beautiful fish, proper hard fight. And I thought it was going to be a really big one when he first hit it. Felt solid. That's awesome. Let him go. See you later, big guy. So thank you guys for watching. I've really enjoyed this session. It's been nice trying something new and it's succeeding for once. Like I say, the very first time I tried using singles was for trout on my hard baits, failed miserably. Today was a massive success. I'd say my hook to land rate was probably about the same as if I was using trebles on them baits, if I'm honest. Um, I had a few smaller fish that hit the bait, um, but didn't get hooked up, which actually was a bonus because I wasn't targeting the tiny, tiny perch anyway. It's probably a, a benefit of using sort of slightly larger single hooks as opposed to the small treble hooks because you actually don't get some of those pest fish when you're actually targeting the specimen ones like the big chub and the nicer perch. So it's been really good. So if you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to, feel free to subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I'm on about 95,000 now, so close. I was hoping I was going to wait for my birthday because it's my birthday on the 12th of August. I don't think we're obviously going to make it by then, but definitely I think this is the year for it anyway. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later.